Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a very easy and simple way to create a decorative tray for your home. I'm only going to be using this twine rope yarn and Mod Podge, and it doesn't get any more simple than that. To create the shape of the tray, I'm using a pot, and I'm covering it with some plastic wrap. This is to protect the pot and also to have a barrier between the pot and the tray since I will be applying a lot of Mod Podge. I also make sure that the plastic wrap goes down the sides of the pot since I'll be applying the yarn there as well. I start off by brushing Mod Podge onto the surface and this will help the yarn stay in place. I'm starting to twirl the rope around so it looks like this. And I find this beginning part to be a lot easier in my hands versus in starting it off on the pot. Once I got the hang of it, I placed it down into the center and continued to wrap the rope around repeatedly. I take breaks to apply a Mod Podge onto the rope, and that sticks everything together nicely. There is a little hole in the center, but we don't need to worry about that right now because we'll fill that in later. Once I got close to the edge, I continued to wrap the rope around onto the sides of the pot and you can continue this process however much you want depending on how tall you want your tray to be. And again, throughout the whole process, I'm continuously adding on the Mod Podge which helps the tray to keep its shape. Once I'm happy with what will be the height of the tray, I use my scissors and then use my Mod Podge to stick the end of the rope onto the rope above it. and I add in more Mod Podge, making sure that everything is sealed in good. Because it's handmade, it can't be perfect, but what's cool about this is that you can later use pieces of the rope to fill in any empty areas. So I cut off a very small section of the rope and using Mod Podge, I stuck it right into the center where I had the hole. And there were a few areas on the side as well that had a little bit of blank space. So again, I cut off a small section of the rope and used the Mod Podge to fill in those empty areas. I allowed the Mod Podge to dry for a few hours and then I came back to remove the pot. To remove the tray from the pot, I had to punch up the edges of the tray and I was worried that this would compromise the shape, though once I successfully removed the tray, I was able to prop up the edges again and it was good as new. And now's the final step where I'm adding a layer of Mod Podge onto the inside. Once that's completely dry, then your tray is ready. And here's the final product. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy these types of DIY videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art. 